We've got some sports card company hobby news today. Dibs has announced that it is shutting down its marketplace. For those that don't know Dibs, essentially a fractional marketplace where users can fractionalize their cards and sell shares or something to that effect to other users. And it says here in the report that they are moving more towards their tokenization as a service style business. And it says that it's growing here, according to Sports Collectors Daily, the way that they reported it. And it's very interesting. I think we've talked about this before. I mean, there were a lot of startups that came about during the pandemic. Sports cards were cool again. It was hot again. And we've seen uh, companies like Starstock, for example, that have had to pivot out of kind of their typical marketplace. It looks like Dibs is also going to be pivoting away from what they were looking to do initially. They did say that one of the reasons for kind of having having issues, having a shutdown, possibly due to kind of the banking stuff that's going on. There's some some banking drama going on out there in the world if you've been paying attention. And they reference that here as unforeseen changes to offerings from our payments provider and their partner banks. So maybe there was a little bit of concern around, around payments. And so it just kind of prompted part of the reason what what prompted this. Now, if you look at investors and two dibs, you had Chris Paul, athletes like Chris Paul, Kevin Love, DeAndre Hopkins, and then sports card folks, you have Jeff Wilson and PSA's own Nat Turner was an investor into dibs. And again, I mean, look, there's a lot of startups in many, many different industries that just don't work out. The startup world is a tough place. And right now, especially too, we have a lot of different marketplaces in the sports card world. And this one being tied to the blockchain fractionalization, there's just a lot of moving parts, still a lot of unknowns with crypto and with NFTs and and all that sort of thing. So I can see where there could be some sort of challenges. But as as I said here, it looks like more of a pivot. And so we'll follow along to see what they've got next. Cardboard Connection has a 2022 select football preview now on the site. You've got a checklist to look at. But before we go into it, big thanks to video sponsor MVPSportBreak.com. This is an LCS that is selling sealed product and they want to compete with the big names. And so I want to definitely put their name out there. It's MVPSportBreak.com. Use promo code DAD3 for 10% off your order and then all orders over $500, it's free shipping. So definitely check out MVPSportBreak.com for all your sealed product and supply needs. All right, we've got the new 2022 Select Football Preview is out on Cardboard Connection. And this is interesting. I actually really like the look of the cards. I think Panini puts out a nice looking card, the Select Football cards to me, even though they moved from it just being um, not being hobby anymore, now being retail and hobby. That kind of soured it for me a little bit when they did that in 2020. But the overall look of the cards, just very cool looking cards. Now, the base card set has grown to 500 cards. So now we've got 500. We're starting to get into like 89 upper deck territory. Remember like some of those older sets, it was like 600, 700, 800, you know, players in the set or cards in the set. Well, now we're at a 500 card base set, which you know what that means. There's going to be a lot of this stuff out there. They've got some new inserts this year that are super short print, supposedly. Multiverse, Starcade, and Visionary. And then you've got kind of the usual autos and rookie autos. Being a Saints fan, I'd put up, I'm gonna put up a picture of Chris Alave. Actually, a pretty cool card, but a lot of sticker autos. So I know for, for folks that don't like sticker autos, might not be crazy about it. Uh, but still, good looking cards. One gripe I have is, man, how many different levels are we gonna have? You're not gonna believe this. So you've got base concourse, you've got premier level, You've got club level, which they had just added last year, and field level, but then they slipped in in between club level and field level and all new sweet level, sweet level. Is it going to be like nosebleed seat level next? I mean, come on, guys. One, two, three, four, five different levels. So five different versions of a card. And then you'll have all the different variations. The concourse silver, the concourse purple, the premier yellow. You know, you're going to have all the different colors of the rainbow for all these different levels. Man, I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of select out there. So again, as we say, for a lot of the products, it's the same when we go over to this Prism product. This is collector product. So if you can find this in retail, maybe this is kind of a fun retail rip because the cards do look cool. There's probably some nice collector cards in the set. 
And so that's what we've got so far for select football this year. It's not any sort of shock that they're kind of expanding this out. Again, Panini losing the licenses in a couple of years. What really is their motivation to slow down print runs? They just don't have any. So they're broadening the sucker out. We got a 500 card base set and we got another level. So, oh, the levels. Anyway, guys, stay healthy, stay awesome. And I will talk to you again later.